Hi. Hi, Oliver. Hi, buddy. Lifting family, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a review on the Titan Fitness Safety Squat Olympic Bar version two. This product sold out fairly quickly within Titan's first run. I was not lucky enough to grab one on the first run, but I did end up calling in to get on a back order list so that I could get this one shipped out once it was restocked. I decided to pull the trigger and I ended up getting on the back order list and I was expecting this to ship sometime after 12.4 when I was told that that's when these would be restocked. And then to my surprise, I found this bar at my house yesterday, which was 11.29. So a little bit confusing there and even more so just because I did not get a ship notice from Titan that this product had shipped. Let's get into the actual specs and the review and going over some of the pieces and, and components of this bar. So as far as the bar goes, it's listed at an overall capacity of 1,500 pounds. I don't know that I'll ever get there. The bar weight itself, it says 61 pounds. Mine came in a little bit more than that at 62 and about five and some odd ounces. As far as the overall length of the barbell itself, it is 90.5 inches. So I end up showing that against the standard seven foot barbell. As far as the handle spacing, I did not measure the, the handle spacing though. It does fit nice and snug on my neck which you can see in the video as far as the bar diameter that is listed at one and a half inches and i would deem that as accurate as well and as far as the camber drop i did not get to measure the the camber drop itself i did get to show you a good bit as far as when this bar is lying flat so when the sleeves are lying flat and the bar is lying flat how far that camber actually sets up off the ground as far as the handle angle that is listed at 22 degrees so again another measurement that i didn't take but the video should help a little bit now as far as the barbell itself i do not have any notations on the whip of the bar i could not imagine that given the thickness of this bar that it's going to have a lot of whip to it i did try to look at some of the integrity pieces so at the end of the loadable sleeve that, that's a that's a ring clip that's in there so the ring clip actually keeps that loadable sleeve on there so it is a solid bar all the way through and then the loadable sleeve just goes on there so it should be a, a solid bar so as far as the welds go they they look fairly decent they're just a little bit choppy and then it, as far as that goes again it's a solid bar so the loadable plate sleeve that's on there that has a plate stop that's really what's being welded in place so I'm not really super concerned with that having any sort of an issue as far as the padding on the bar very dense padding seems like more of like a thick carpet pad that would that you'd have underneath your carpet looks solid does not look like it's going to be falling apart anytime soon the vinyl on top of it is a little bit smooth so that is something where i might end up throwing a little bit of chalk on the padding itself to make sure that that sticks to my neck just because i plan to do good mornings with this and with that i don't really want that sliding up any further up my neck than it needs to and i also want to make sure that it stays tight on my neck where as i'm working out and sweat starts to develop that the bar itself doesn't move too much but the handles are comfortable the handle width is nice the handles themselves actually screw into place they have a solid feel to them those are also a little bit smooth but i unless your hands are super slippery i don't think that that would be a problem the other thing that that is really surprising with this or maybe not too surprising is just that this bar is packaged very very well titan has stepped up their game in terms of the packaging this was cared for quite well in terms of how it was placed inside that box most titan boxes come in rags by the time they get to you and that is not necessarily all on titan and then as far as the overall finish of the bar it's a very sharp looking bar i i think that the the finish is very nice i don't know that it's going to be wearing down anytime soon to where the bar is going to have a lot of a marred look to it but as far as the fit and finish of this it's got a very nice look to it the logo pops out really really well on the pad the pad itself i did not get to load up too much weight to really determine how well that's going to compress or how much it's going to compress it definitely felt comfortable though the other thing with this bar is that the weight sleeves tend to bow up just slightly i'm not sure if that's intentional for the bar itself or not i have not owned nor seen an ssb in person to say that that's the case for all of them but you can kind of see that in the video itself that they point up just slightly and I would imagine that that might be the case just because with this bar your hands are closer you might not have as much bar stability the sleeves are smooth there there's no ridges to them at all so as far as loading plates on and off of there that is a very very smooth surface 
You can put weight collars on there. I official lock jaw collars. Some of them are knockoffs. That's why I say official. The collars definitely fit on there and cinch down tight, but that's probably why that curvature is there. A little bit to make sure that any sort of unsteadiness as you're unracking the bar, that that gets limited. But given that this is my first taste of an SSB, I am very, very impressed. The $192 price point that it's at on the Titan website and that's available on Amazon, I would say that it's definitely worth that given that in, in comparison to some of the other bars that are out there that are in the three to $400 range. But overall, as far as the bar goes for me, five stars for me just because I feel that this is great value. Again, it just, it has a solid feel to it to where I've, I feel that this bar is gonna last for quite some time. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Remember to click that like button, smash that thumbs up, turn on notifications. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and as always, keep pushing.